Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Hope you're keeping well and staying safe and enjoying some of this beautiful weather we're having. James is with me today and we're going to carry on with our thoughts in Proverbs um, that we've been doing for the last couple of weeks and then there's some announcements to share with you um, about some stuff that's up and coming. So just going to read from Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 8. I'll read this. Verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. So it's probably one of the most well-known parts of Proverbs, and I'm sure you've read it before, or maybe you've written it on a card and given it to someone, or maybe you've received it on a card um, as an encouragement or as a, a verse to help you through a particular difficulty. But sometimes the words are, we can say them, but we need to try and think about what they mean maybe a little bit more. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. So what does that mean? What does that look like? Well, I think it's that helpful that in the next line, it kind of gives us a clue. Do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him. So it's just this idea of giving over your allegiance, your loyalty, uh, to the Lord, to God, to him, in everything that you do, um, acknowledging that he is your sovereign and he is your king. And a theme in Romans, uh, in Romans, a theme in Proverbs is this idea of wisdom. What is wisdom? Well, wisdom in the Bible is knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong, what does God want and what you want, and picking what God wants over what you want. So we can all practice that, can't we? In our daily lives, when we're faced with these decisions, let's pick what God wants us to do and not lean on our own understanding. Okay, so I hope that's encouraging for you. Some notices to share now, and James has got some stuff about the kids and youth work to share. Great, it's uh, great to be here, and firstly, thank you for the warm welcome we've all had as we've arrived back in Liverpool. There's some exciting stuff for kids coming up. Uh, starting in two weeks, we're going to begin some packs in our services before we go back to full-on face-to-face gatherings in our groups. That should be really helpful to parents as we try and engage our children and young people to sit under God's teaching as we gather as church. But in the meantime, for parents to, to work with at home, we're going to try each week in the bulletin to just send a, a resource that we think could be helpful. This doesn't mean you have to do it, but it's just a tool that, that, that you could use. Why not just try a different one each week? The first one this week is going to be a Spotify playlist um, with a, a list of songs that we've curated, uh, just new kids' songs. They're very upbeat, they're very fun, but uh, wonderfully they're filled with God's word and they use music to implant it in our hearts. It'd be great for a car journey or maybe you know that kind of time before school when you're trying to corral everybody to get ready. Uh, the other thing we've got coming up in the next few weeks to so keep an eye out for is the podcast. We've got some great guests. We've got Ed Drew from Faith in Kids, um, who's done a, a wonderful ministry serving churches around the country, uh, equipping kids and youth leaders as well as young people. Uh, he's actually one of the guys who had the idea similar to the car park carols that yeah. Bridge goes to do at Christmas. But there's lots to look out for, so please keep checking in with the bulletin. Great, thank you. Um, please remember to keep praying for our uh, search for a new pastor. It was great to have Ollie with us last week. And thank you for all the feedback you've sent, that you've sent in so far. Please do continue to send that in or communicate it to someone who can pass it on to us. And that's really helpful for us to get a feel of what you're thinking. Please continue to pray for him and for Bethan and for the kids and for us here. As we've rehearsed before you many times, what we want is God's man here with us. We want the man of his anointing and his appointing. And we also want the courage to make the decision that God has in line for us. So please continue to pray. Remember for the prayer where you are every Thursday, 7 to 8 in the morning and 6 to 7 in the evening to join us wherever you are uh, to pray for that process. Another thing that we're doing uh, in the next couple of weeks is Christianity Explored. We've run this a couple of times during lockdown. So um, it's going to be running again in a couple of weeks. In a minute, there's going to be a little video from John about the details. But James, who's Christianity Explored for? Uh, so primarily, I can think of three different types of people might be great for. Firstly, if you just fancy a refresher, we've all found lockdown hard. We've all found it a bit distant. It'd just be great to, to be in God's word and reminded of the, the fundamental truths of the gospel. Yeah. Secondly, I think it'd be great for equipping all of us to better evangelise uh, our friends and our neighbours, basically anyone with a pulse <laughs> who doesn't yet know Jesus. And then finally, I think primarily, it's for to get people along to. It'd be great to go with them, uh, to, to be with them on this journey of getting to know Jesus for themselves. So why not 
use this time now to have those conversations, to, to use our gardens, have people over, and let's just work it into conversation to say, actually, this is so exciting, I want you to come and join me. Yeah, great. So over to John for some details about how and when that's going to happen. Hello, I hope you're very well, wherever you may be. Can I please give you a notice and follow it up with a couple of re uh, requests? So the notice is that we are going to be running a new session of Christianity Explored. We're going to start it on Thursday the 29th of April at 7pm and we're going to do it for seven weeks. It's going to be on Zoom and the details to join will be on our website, will be in all the usual updates and emails and if you can't find them there for some reason please just give us a phone call or drop a line to one of the usual email addresses and we'll make sure you get them. So that's the notice. Christianity Explored beginning 29th of April at 7pm on Zoom. Now for a couple of requests. The first request is please will you pray for Christianity Explored. Pray for those who are organising it, pray for those who are attending and pray for those who are inviting people to come along. My second request is please be someone who invites people to come along. Do you know any family, friends, colleagues who you could invite along to Christianity Explored. So, as we close, um, just to remind about Sunday, the invites went out earlier in the week. Uh, there's lots of people invited, so it'd be great to see you there. Please do everything you can to come and join us um, for our COVID Secure Worship. We're doing all we can to make it as welcoming as possible. Just a reminder as well that uh, you do know, we have said before, that Grace Church Hale will be using the building after we finish. So it is important as a witness to our neighbours and also in order for the building to be cleaned and disinfected before they get here, that we do move on quickly from the site and then the team can clean the building and get ready for, for their arrival a little bit later in the afternoon. So that's it from us. Have a great day. God bless you.